Easy Outdoor Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Yamaha, Rapala, Maple Ridge Chrysler, Lawrence, Duncan V. Lodge, Port Boathouse, BC Outdoors Magazine, and Mayhem Fly Fishing. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We've got a great show for you today. We're up at uh, Mucha Bay, uh, which is in Nooka Sound, and we're fishing with Chris from Nooka Marine Adventures. Welcome, Chris. Thank you for having me. Yeah, first time on the show for you. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we've been up here a few times, obviously, over the last few years, um, and this is going to be actually our first opportunity to fish off of the big new North Rivers, which are uh, pretty spectacular looking boats. I They're say. very, very nice boats. We're lucky to, yeah. to run them. And then I got this goon squad beside me here. My lovely children, which I'm totally excited about because now I get a chance to fish with all three of you at the same time, which I've had all of you on the show, but just at different times. So this is going to be exciting, right? And I think the last time we went fishing was probably up the lake, and I hope there's not as much arguing going on as it was on that day. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. <laughs> all right, so Chris, what are we doing today? Uh, today we're going to try and go out and do some salmon fishing, possibly yep. some ling cod after that, and uh, tomorrow we'll see if we can't go out and do some offshore, offshore salmon fishing and maybe some halibut. Okay. And any thoughts on that down there from the peanut gallery? Mads, what do you think about this day? I'm excited. <laughs> I think you're half asleep still. <laughs> Marley, how about you? I'm ready to catch the biggest fish. Oh yeah, that's about right. Caleb? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. It's gonna be fun. Okay, all right. All right, well, let's, uh, let's hop in the beautiful North River and let's head out in the water. Sounds like a plan. All right. <laughs> Birdwood this morning. A lot of big fish have been caught here this week, so hopefully we can run into a couple this morning. So it's rock, paper, scissors, shoot to see who goes first. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do that again. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> okay, somebody's got to pick something different. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, I'll go last. <laughs> What about time that guy had to get in the water to get here? Five. <laughs> he was going at 4.45. Okay, you're on. There you go. If you want to go, let him go. There you go. Nice. Yeah, if he wants to go, let him go. Just watch your rod tip. Oh, pop the clip there. Yeah. yeah. There you go, buddy. How's it feel? Oh, it's been a while, eh? Yeah, it feels like a good. Like, when was the last time you actually hooked a Chinook? Uh, four, that might have been 14. Yeah. Like six years ago? Yeah. That's embarrassing. Yeah. Okay, so on the boat, he's going to want to go again. Nice fish. Yeah. You just watch your rod tip and watch out what that fish does. He might take off here again. Yep. There you go. He's not ready yet. Oh, he's not ready yet. Just keep tension on him. You're good. You're doing awesome. There you go. So once he gives up a little bit, he's... Yeah. Okay, there you go. Just let him go if he wants to go, right? There you go. Perfect job. I like that hand right off that reel. You don't get the you don't get stung. No. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, back up a bit. Do that again, reel down a bit more. Nice job! Here we go, ready? Yeah. Hey. Fish buddy! Hey, nice job. Just remember to hold it up like a Canadian. Not by the gill plate, no. Hands on the outside, thumbs. I always tell people thumbs out. Yeah. Right? And then you get your fingers out of the way. Actually see the fish. Is that heavy? You want me to hold it for you? No. <laughs> Come on, here, Matt. Okay. Well, your first Chinook in six years. Yeah, that's awesome. You know what that means? You just need to come fishing more often when I invite you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's exactly what yeah. that is. I got some working so much. Yeah. Good job. All right, we'll we'll uh, we'll bleed them out, get them in the box, and go write them on your license. Try to do that. Good job, Caleb. Check your leaders. We'll be right back. Closed captioning brought to you by the world famous Duncan B. Lodge, located in beautiful rivers in Lake BC. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. As we drop in here, make sure you guys are watching the rod tips. Even if it's just a little tickle or a big bounce, run over to the rod, pull it out of the tube, uh, crank all the slack out of the line and then pop it off the clip. Unless it's already off the clip and running and that reel is spinning, then you just need to pick up and hold on because the fish has already got it and is off the cannonball. You know what, this is where you guys, this is where you guys can say, hey, it's not our first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> say, say it with serious. Say yeah. it, come on, <laughs> say it. Back left. Get, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Reel, 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 reel. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah. Reel down, reel down, and then pull hard. Hold the reel and pull hard. There you go, there you're, go. Off you're off. Take yeah, it good job. Still there? Yeah. Did you miss it? Nope. No. Okay. Remember, when it wants to go, we just, there you go. Hand off the reel. There it is. There it is. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Hand off the reel. There you go. What we got here? Okay. There you go. Break it up. Hand off the reel. There. Just let it go. Yeah. Watch your rod tip. There you go. You got it, kid. It's almost like you've done this before. There you go. Keep watching the rod tip. Have you done this before? Just, when it wants to go, let it go. There you go. Awesome. Nice, nice. Rod up. We keep rod up. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's what we want to hear. That never gets old. <laughs> no. Good job, kid. Real faster, real faster. Get all the slack out of the line. He's coming out of the boat. Keep going. Go, 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 Real, 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 real. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, you want to net it? Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Nice. Yeah, you let, go, you let go of the bag, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, nice fish. That Very got nice fish. That got bigger. Good job. Nice. Nice job. You fought that like a pro. Have you done this before? Huh? Yeah, I went. Last year, this time, right here, yeah. Marley, you're up. Awesome. On the turn. Should we get this other one out of the way? 
Yeah, yeah, yep. That's just cool. That's oh. deck. Just keep rod up there, Joe. Good job. And remember, when it wants to go, just hand off the reel, let it, let it go, right? It'll dictate to you. What, oh, it, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Good job. Oh, no. It's gone. Real, 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 real. Is it gone? No. Okay, okay. But remember, when it wants to go, just let it go. Yeah, like that. And just keep rod up. Yes. Yeah, just watch your rod tip the whole time. Your rod tip will dictate what, what the fish is going to do. Good job. And then when the flasher comes, you're going to get a little split second of uh, slack and just keep reeling though. Still there? Yeah. So lift up a little bit and then back up. Yeah. Oh, he's not ready yet. He's not quite ready yet. Okay. Back up. Start to lift. Lift up. Lift. Beautiful. Now give him a little slack. Oh, look at this fish, Marley. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> no wonder my hand hurts. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, Seal got him. That's good though. He's a survivor right there. Wow. Good job. <laughs> wow. He's <laughs> one. <laughs> Give him a smile. Just hold it up. Hold it up. Act like you like it. Pretend you like what you're doing here. Why, why are you making me do this? Holy oh, yeah, shit! <laughs> I think, hey, I think she's got both of you so far. That's a good one. That is a good Way to go, Joe. Okay, we'll put it down on the deck and we'll bleed it out and we'll write it on your license. We've already done your two licenses on your fish and we gotta get Marley's fish done on the license and we're good to go. I'll rinse this off and then we'll get the hose going. your anchor. We'll be right back. And now, the BC Wildlife Federation presents Conservation Corner. The Southern Interior Mule Deer Project and Southern BC Cougar Project are deeply entwined as they aim to reveal the secret lives of predator and prey. The BC Wildlife Federation is helping support and fund independent scientific research into that relationship and the population dynamics of these iconic species. The Southern Interior Mule Deer Project's leaders and an army of volunteers have collected and labeled over 2.6 million trail camera images of animals collected from 250 locations across 30,000 square kilometers of BC forest. Researchers will use that data to assess the health and movements of mule deer their predators, and other species. We also hope to better understand how wildfires, logging, and industrial activities affect mule deer populations. It's a massive undertaking, but it's not the only one. The Cougar Project has collared and tracked 50 adult cats to learn more about their prey choices, movements, and the factors that lead to their mortality. GPS monitoring allows the researchers to see where the cats range to hunt and where that overlaps with the movements of mule deer. Even something as basic as population estimates will be helpful. Are there 300 cougars in the Thompson region or are there more? We don't know for sure and we can't make science-based wildlife management decisions without having science, monitoring and inventory to support us. Help us invest in wildlife. Become a BC Wildlife Federation member today. So we just got done finishing our salmon this morning uh, and then we decided to come out and do some ling cod fishing. We're about seven-ish miles offshore and we'll see what we can come up with. Woo! My fault right in the face. That's a nice one. Hey! There we go! There we go! That's a nice one. How are you doing? You gotta breathe. You gotta breathe. <laughs> ah, okay, back him up.
Perfect. Yeah. Ice one caves. All right, watch out, guys. <laughs> That's fish and chips <laughs> right there. <laughs> Caleb's on fire! Yeah, he is. This is tight. Doing good. Uh, is, is this one bigger? Yeah, this one's a little bigger. Holy! <laughs> oh, look at this! <laughs> oh, that's huge. That's a lot of fish and chips. That is a lot of fish and chips. <laughs>talk to you about the gear that we've been using on today's episode uh during our bottom fishing segment of this show uh we paired up with our brand new sponsor akuma super excited about these guys um the rods today were akuma pch custom rods this is a seven foot rod uh one piece great action uh, lots of bend for those lingcod and uh, and halibut as well too uh the reels of choice were the kavala akuma uh reels as well too uh, great, you can see line capacity is huge on it, um, and we paired it up with our Suffix 130-pound uh, braid. Uh, getting down the stuff, you know what, it was just about swim baits. That's all we were doing is jigging swim baits. Lost a few to the grippy bottom of the of the ocean, but we ended up managing to keep two so far, and you can see the mismatched heads here too, but the, the main thing I think was the glow bodies, the different uh, glow bodies that we're using um, were the successful ones for sure too. Uh, this seemed to be the go-to one that hooked up most of the lingcod on it. You can see it's got some teeth marks and stuff on it, so it's, it uh, works really well. So what we're going to do, though, folks, is we're going to follow up with a list of this stuff. It'll be a short, quick list for you, too. But for the salmon fishing gear, you're going to have to wait until next week's episode when we finish off part two of this continuation. So stay tuned for a quick list here. And then, unfortunately, you're going to have to follow up next week uh, to watch for our salmon gear list, too. <laughs> your anchor we'll be right back while we went to commercial break uh, Caleb and I have a little side bet contest here he's jigged up the last four to me to none so we have a little side bet to see who can get the next one just rolling into a new spot anyway first one down wins the hook to the boat wins losers gotta buy a beer and he's 20 and I'm so excited he can finally buy dad a beer I have to win I can't not win I have to win. So I paid Chris off. Chris is going to do donuts. Make sure Caleb's line's all tangled up the whole time while I attempt to win this epic contest. <laughs> oh, I'm getting bites on the way down. Oh, yeah! Lost it again. I'm enjoying the sun right now. I ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh man. Oh, they like that glow tail, that's for sure.
He can crank this one in faster. If he can crank this one in. We got a race. <laughs> oh, I think he's I No! <laughs> I'm on Caleb's side. Number one. <laughs> Not first, you're last. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that beer's gonna taste good. Ah! <laughs>